Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And that channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World, where I have co-host the family in the comment section in the audience with me coming over to the house sitting down and having a little chit chat okay a little chit chat i say but child i don't know what in the hell would whoop it on did to her panel guests or panel co-workers however you want to see them that's on the show with her on the view it don't seem like she can catch a break ever since that whole thing with the Holocaust and she comparing it or, or saying it was, I, you know, we ain't going to rehash it. I did a video. Go check it out. But the white folks ain't happy with her. I guess the Asian folks and, and um, the Native Americans. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like society is just over whoopee at this time. And they calling for her head. If not her head, they want her to be fired. I'm like, God, that, what did you do, Whippy? You just got all these people pressed. Just pressed, okay? You applying pressure on people? What's going on, homie? What is going on on that? All right, but the son got it for us. Did a little write-up. Uh, let me see. We had Brian Brooke. Was it Bruntal? Br let me see. Bruni Brunty wrote the article. Well, the Sun dot com. They titled it "Whoops: The View." Whoopi Goldberg flubs her words and forgets key detail live on air in special Bahamas resort broadcast. Nerves appear to have gotten the best or the better of Whoopi's. Goldberg as she flubbed her words and forgot a key detail while live on air. Whoopi and her co-hosts are currently spending the week filming at a Bahamas resort. The six year excuse me, the sixty six year old seemed to have forgotten where she was currently filming before a co host Sonny Hostin said Rip resort. Now I'm like what, are you catching like Alzheimer's? Are you getting a little dementia over that girl? Or could it be, and it's plausible, you had too many my ties over there. You had too much rum, too much vodka, and you just was feeling good, but you just wasn't feeling the show that morning. <laughs> Tell us, we want to know. We're nosy as hell over here at the house. What was going on? Or did you get a, a puff puffs pass pass or what Snoop Dogg and Cat Williams be saying? Did you were you over there puff puffing and pass pass, girl? You had a little bit too much puff puff. We wanna know, Whippy, we wanna know. Cause they girl, they on your ass. They are on your ass. Okay, I'm still looking for my three acres and a mule. <laughs> okay. Oh, we, oh, we could turn that into several acres of land and a house shall be built on it, paid in full. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but anyway, it all kicked off. We're going to the article. Monday when the ladies of The View had quite the opening to their special Bahamas Field Week featuring plenty of dancing and celebrating. As soon as they all sat down, Whoopi began our trip to celebrate uh, The View's 25th season. We came here to the Bahamas. Um, yeah, that's why this house reading. God, I ain't just putting this shit up here. You can't make this shit up, okay? The 66-year-old then seemed to struggle to find the words before Sonny Holston helped her out and said, Resort. Resort, Whoopi Echo. Before laughing and adding, Paradise. There are so many words, but I can't think of them all. And again, Whoopi, is it a medical reason why? Is it a medical reason why? Or you just had too much fun, too much sun, and too much 
a hog, girl. Let us know. Okay, going back to the article. Starting Monday, Whoopi Sunny, as well as Joe Bihar, or Bahar, Sarah Haynes, and Anna Navarro will be airing from the Baja Mar Resorts in Nasa, Bahamas. However, fans have not been too happy with the ladies and have accused them of flaunting their wealth. Now, I'm going to do a sidebar. You don't have to look at the view. If you're going to be petty betty, you don't have to look at the view. Because, hell, they could have went to France, Paris, France, and you would have said some shit. Now, I'm talking to the, uh, the what do you call those, the uh, people out in the audience or whatever, trying to have a, a attitude. It ain't about you. It's about the view and the women on the view and that they can travel anywhere they want into the uh, in the world and broadcast it pow, uh, podcast style. I'm talking about they are uh, flaunting their will. Well, who else going to do it? If they make it seven or eight figures just sitting on TV talking about issues like we're doing right now. And everybody's chiming in with their own rendition of what they feel, what their perspective is all about. So let it be. Maybe you need to change careers and become a host of somebody's show. Just a little salty for me. Just a little salty. But yeah. One spectator, one audience guest, called themselves saying that the women on the show, meaning the view, the co-host and host or whatever, that they're flaunting their wealth. But that's what we always do. We got a little chit chain. Now, we owe money. You ain't even going to know we got money. you just going to be sitting up here and thinking I'm some pro, poor uh, jokester here. I ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to sling out of. And I could be sitting on $7 trillion. You see what I'm saying? I could be sitting on $7 trillion. But anyway, going back to this article, it said recently the hosts were seen on social media living it up. Living it up, oh yeah. It's Friday night. Living it up, living it up, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was just me, y'all. I felt like dancing and singing at the time. But anyway, recently the hosts were seen on social media living it up at the beach, relaxing in shady lounge chairs, enjoying desiccant uh, drinks, and tasting delicious foods. Those who are struggling to put food on their tables and gas in their cars can see a vacation spot firsthand on TV. One angry fan raged at the time. I said, okay. For that one raging um, viewer, they should have quick, fast, and a hurry got her on out the set. Okay? Because evidently, it ain't about the view. It ain't about the ladies on the view. It's about something happening to her internally. And she's trying to take it out on people. See, that's what I don't like. Just because your house ain't right or you coming from a bad environment and when you step in the door when you're greeting and meeting other people say your job you ain't got no time you you should not even think that you're gonna take all your frustrations out on them they ain't did shit to you okay so leave that stuff at the door and since you're partaking of the view you need to sit down and shut up and just listen to the commentary all right but that's just my side boy you know i go i i, I just take a story and i uh you know flip it rub it Slap it down and stuff. And now I'm like, okay, I got my opinions on it. Do you want to hear it? You sure do. Here you go. Okay. But going back to the article, it said, uh, let's see, another blasted. They know all of us can't go, but we can go to the site for information on tickets. Meanwhile, I'll be here working my home, working from home while they enjoy their paid vacation. Well, but then you on a job that you just don't like. You're just on a job you just don't like. Just take Beyonce's uh, advice when she made that. Uh, hell, I've got the song. She was making break my soul. Just just listen to that song for a couple of hours, and when you get the goods, just go on and quit your damn job. Cause you sitting over here worried about what Whippy them doing and her co-host and how they're faring. You should have got your job like that, and it should have been very much so rated high for people or spectators to see and look at then you could go do some shit like that but and still you just better be salty better be salty pity bitty all right we're moving on from that one it said whoopie had enough the anger had not subsided either as some viewers have called for the show's lead moderator which is whoopie to lose her job fans previously commented on whoopie's 
conduct during a live episode after she blasted her co-hosts and made demands from her studio audience. Okay? I think you can make demands. Hell, they there. They there to get see something live on TV and to meet celebrities. Because all of them are celebrities on The View. You know, that's what this, you know, you just get that title when you host a show or you're part of a show. They just instantly say, ooh, you're a celebrity. So, I don't know what got into these women's heads and, and minds that they think they're going to speak at those salt and, and, and destruction on folks that's just minding their own business and doing their job. Y'all are looking at it for pleasure, but the women on The View, they doing their damn job, okay? Now, if they want to take them to Africa and have a spinoff there, they sure could do it because it's people like you that's keeping them in business. Every time you tune in on the show, cha-ching, that means their job is secure for another time. <laughs> uh, you know, another year's time, okay? Another season. Oh, my goodness, these studio audience guests, they're getting them a nerve, and I ain't even a part of it. But anyway, it uh, goes and say, it started when the former actress was about to go into commercial, but Sonny wanted to add one more thing. Whippy told her she had to do it quickly because it turned into the hosts all jumping in once again to share their own thoughts. Eventually, it got to be too much, and Whippy cut them off. The Oscar winner, yes, Whoopi is an Oscar winner, okay, winner. Are you the ones that keep blasting her out in this particular audi audience and article? Are you an Oscar winner? Okay, until you become an Oscar winner, sit your ass down, shut up, and just listen. You can't do that. Just 86 yourself on out the door, go home, take a nap, and uh, maybe your family can deal with you, but we can't over here. That's pretty much what Whoopi was pretty much saying. We can't. You, you're here for a reason. You're here to see us. It's a pleasure to, uh, thing for you all, but it's work for us. Okay? So we need to have downtime. And sometimes we get to have another site to be seen. Where we're not in the studio, but we're actually outside with the people in the air and the audience. Yes. Okay? But anyway. Uh, Whoopi took, <coughs> Whoopi took the show to its commercial break. Well, no, no, let me go back. It says the Oscar winner blasted them saying, okay, I can't do this anymore with y'all. I gotta go. I can't do it anymore. Whoopi took the show to its commercial break, then turned her attention towards the studio audience and told them they could clap now. One shot fan tweeted, well, Whoopi demanded things from the audience, writing, what was that? Can you clap? A day earlier, Whoopi signed or singled out just one of the hosts, Shading Sunny, 53, during an uncomfortable moment. It came after the TV star seemed to make a rude comment to Sunny after she took too long to ask guest Kiki Palmer a question. Getting the boot. Fans have been petitioning to have Whoopi fired from the show after various comments on air blunders, including her racist remarks about the Holocaust during the January 31st episode. Okay, then we know Whoopi had already got her hands tapped, okay? They gave her a two-week suspension. Don't know if it was with pay or not. It's neither here nor there. But they brought her back. So deal with it, angry uh, person in the audience, deal with it, okay? Or stop watching the show. You ain't got to watch the show. If we'll be there and she just upsets the hell out you and your mentality, cut it off. Go look at something else, okay? But you don't stop no show. No one monkey don't stop no show. No stop no circus, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, in fact, a petition has circulated on change.org insisting that Whoopi be let go of her hosting duties for her repulsive verbiage and actions. Okay. It currently has over 40,000 signatures. Ah, Whoopi isn't the only one taking hits as the ABC program also lost big at the daytime Emmys. The Kelly Clarkson show beat out the view in all in the all important outstanding entertainment talk show host category, where her rivals included Drew Drew Barrymore show, Live with Kelly and Ryan, and Today's Show with Hoda 
and she, Jenny. Okay. So what do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that, girls and boys, men and women? What y'all think about that? Woo! They just want uh, Whoopi's head on a pedestal because she they didn't like what she said back in January. I mean, if that's all the people wanted to do to whip him, then she served her time. Leave her alone. If you don't like her, damn, go look up another show, okay? Because this is not going to fire Whippy because y'all feel like she should be fired. I mean, how many people say racist stuff and discriminatory stuff on a daily basis, okay? Some that they don't get caught. Some that's out there, they bold as hell and just say it. You know what I'm saying? They don't care who he is. They're singing on the mountaintops where it'll flow all the way down to the city and the byways and highways for everybody here. But, child, ain't no, racism ain't going nowhere. Discrimination ain't going nowhere until the Lord come home and take all of us, okay? He has to find a say. Hell, he's the creator, okay, of everything. Did I say everything? Everything in my Cat Williams voice. But that's all I got for this particular video, and I will see y'all next time, okay? Bye-bye.